Hey there, it's Miriam with Engadget, and here we have an N900, but what's most interesting is that we have Benoit Schillings here of Myriad, who's going to tell us about what he's doing with an N900 in this day and age. So Benoit, tell us, what's going on here? Well, qu quite a few things, but uh, basically what we're doing is to show this new product named Alien Dalvik, which allows non-Android device to run most of the Android applications. So, so you're really telling me you're doing, that gap. you're doing black magic, is what you're doing? Black magic is software, Excellent. right? It's always the way it works. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so show us what yeah. you got here. So, so what do we do have? This is uh, an N900 uh, running Qt and running a Linux kernel. And what we do have is actually three Android applications which are running on this device. And if you look at those uh, Android applications, they really do appear as Nokia applications. There is really yes. no distinction in the way they operate. Mm -hmm. And I can actually go, let's go in landscape here, and I can go and look at an application that you may be familiar with, which for instance is a Google Map. And what you do have is that you see that this application actually is really it's even finding location, it's really the Android application, there, there is no distinction. So it's really combining the ability to take advantage of all those wonderful Android applications. It's the way for a developer to be able to go and uh, use APIs that they're familiar with and be able to extend the use of those applications to other devices which yeah. may not be fully yeah. Android. And that is something which obviously is true for your cell phones, but uh, can also be true for other types of consumer devices. So I really think that we provide that bridge that makes it safe for consumers to use devices which, for instance, initially may not be Android, but who really do not want to find themselves in a situation where they will not be able to use, I don't know, the latest Angry Bird uh, coming up on Android phones. <laughs> Have so you tried it with Angry Birds then? Angry Bird, to be <laughs> honest, still uh, requires native code execution. Yeah, I was so this say. is one piece that you know, we know how to do it, we, we just did not do it yet. But Great. Uh, that's something which is part of the plan. So your goal is to approach the manufacturers of devices right now? Um, not directly the end consumer, right? This is not end consumer. This is something indeed for device manufacturers who may already have some Android device, but on some other segment of their market may not be ready to do a full right. jump. Uh, also operators who often made a big bet on Android as a solution, but still have quite a few cases where they have devices coming from other manufacturers. So it's really a way for them to be able to focus on development based on Android. So my take on this is you're just trying to confuse us because we're going to be buying phones and running Android apps on them and not even notice and then we'll be like wait this UI element looks like an Android UI element you know I don't think that UI <laughs> is as much differentiated these days as it used to be let me give you an example when Apple came up with the Mac on x86 yeah one of the beautiful things they did is to say, and if for some obscure reason you need to run a Windows application, there is no problem, you can. <laughs> and it's not an issue will people do it or not. It's just that it removes that fear. It removes that worry of missing something in another field. So I think it also opens the market. Absolutely. So you're saying that uh, when we talked just before this video that uh, this is on Qt right now, on top yes. of Qt on the N900. So theoretically, we could possibly see this on top of Qt on a Symbian phone, for example. Absolutely. I mean, we ran that in a portable manner. In Initially, we started with the N900 because it's a great phone from a development and experimentation standpoint. Mm -hmm. But we have a version running on Qt. We also have the ability to do that on most devices which would have a decent kernel. So Qt is convenient, and you know I still stay biased that it's a great framework. Uh, but this is also something that we can run on devices which do not have Qt. Okay, and so um, you uh, you are basically uh, when we were talking earlier for our more technical uh, readers, basically um, this is kind of the, the analogy of this right now is like Wine running on Linux. So you can run, Wine allows you to run Windows apps directly on Linux. And so this is kind of like the analogy, right? Is that a bad analogy? No, or? this is similar. I mean, there are really multiple paths to go and get Android on another device. One common approach is to do uh, a virtual machine, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, basically a, hyper, a hypervisor mechanism yeah. with you no know, different operating system running in parallel. It's an okay solution, but from my standpoint, it never really feels integrated. So, so I, what we do here is really to go and get libraries which allows you to go and map the execution of those Android applications right. onto the, the so Niki framework or application. What else can you show us on the phones right now on these apps? I mean, um, do you want to maybe show like one of them and so how it basically feels and looks exactly like its original Android? I think the Google Maps sure. ones might be a good one yeah, to play okay. with. Maybe do a search or like a directions just because I'm thinking um, our readers will be familiar with that app okay, and uh, it'd be kind of cool to show them. I hope I'm not going to lose chess. Well, you know, if you, uh, if, if it, if it, you know, it's a, it's a early on demo, right? So if, if it's acts a little weird, we'll, we'll be forgiving. Everybody will be happy.
I mean, it's it's a it's a bit of a miracle right now that we're running Google Maps from uh, Android on N9. Yeah, we are. Wow, fantastic! So double tapping, zooms, and everything. Yeah, and it's a single touch device, but uh, oh, I think I'm outside of Barcelona. Well, we're in the ocean right now, but it's we're obviously working. And look, we're loading the tiles, uh, zooming out. That's fantastic. And we're at the mercy of the Mobile World Congress network. <laughs> uh, I saw some, bo some boat oh, oh, paths. I think we're getting very close to the coast yeah. again. Oh, here we okay. are. We're back somewhere. Fantastic. So let's go back. Zoom back in. Oh, look at that. Cool. And uh, so right now, um, when do you think we'll start seeing this um, through an operator or, an, or, or a manufacturer? Or like, do you think that it's uh, something we'll, we'll be seeing soon, or is it still something you're working on trying to refine at this point? We, we still have some work. I think that there's still some aspect regarding compatibility. We really need to validate a bit more what is uh, the proper level of compatibility. I mean, I will not promise that we can do 100% compatibility. I actually do think that it is impossible. No. Because a lot of the Android functionality uh, depends on the ability to use other Google services, being Google Talk or similar. So it will be a subset, but we really do think that that subset uh, includes all the graphics, UI, memory, lifecycle, toolchain, all those things are actually are pretty good shape. So the next step for us is being able to get the, the native uh, code running in the context of Android application, uh, and then probably a, a, so a bit of tuning, testing. Maybe to quickly wrap up, one last question. I mean, this is probably an, a yes answer, it's a pretty no-brainer, but I'm going to ask it for our readers. Is could we start running Android apps on our PC soon? Well, actually, you can. You can already use the, no, the, em and use the emulator, the, of course. But I'm just saying, emulator. like using using uh, uh, Alien Dal Dalvik. I do think so. Yeah. I mean, I think that most of the energy in developer communities today are around Android, and yeah. I think that you know increase the place where, it's, where it can run. I think it's really a, a winning situation for everybody. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Benoit, for your time. And um, I wish you well with this. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you very much. Bye.